Hey everybody, I wanted to stop in and say thank you for all the new subscribers and all the comments and stuff. It's been pretty awesome. I really do enjoy um, interacting with you guys. So, you know, if you could just subscribe, like, comment, share, you know, do all those fun things that everybody tells you to do. Um, but today, I am going to be installing Firestone airbags on the Tacoma. And I apologize if I'm cutting my head off or something because I'm kind of new to this whole thing. Got the camera turned around, use my phone. <coughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to install some uh, Firestone airbags right there on my truck. Um, I've had them for a long time just never done it and to be quite honest I use this truck as basically a tow pig <laughs> it's not ideal to be towing with as I'm sure any Tacoma owner would um, agree with but it does the job and it actually does it pretty well so um, we got a boat which I will show in a, another video but the boat is a little bit heavy on the leaf springs um, so these will help that and also my trips to grab some limestone so I'm going to set up the camera and get started. I don't know how long this will take. Hopefully it doesn't take too terribly long. So I'll see you in a bit. All right. Um, going to open her up. See what it's all about. I have no idea what this install entails. Hopefully it does not require a ton of stuff uh, one thing I am not going to have air hooked up to it <clears throat> don't mind my disaster of a workbench uh, but I'm not going to have air hooked up to it that right now it's, I can just click from the cab or something uh, my plan is to maybe do that down the road. I don't even know if this allows that, but yeah, I just want to get this stupid thing on there. So my truck got the sag. There's everything. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Guess I'll get the instructions out. Okay, so I've kind of organized stuff because I'm a organized person, kind of like that, but not really super organized. I don't know. Anyways, got everything kind of organized by what it is. Um, I guess first thing is you put this bad dog on this bad dog per the picture right there. So I'm going to assemble one of them and then I will be back. All right. Install update. It's a lot more involved than I expected, which I should have expected, but I was hopeful that it was a simple bolt and go. Um, as you can see, I had to cut off my bump stop because it sits right here, you know, which makes total sense. So um, that's about all I had. It did the job. I went ahead. Um, I wasn't going to take the tire off. Clearly, I had to do that. Um, but since I had to take the tire off, I'm going to take both the rear tires off anyway. I just went ahead and rotated the tires while I'm at it. Um, so, pretty simple job to do. I was at the um, 
inter interval to do it. This will probably be the last time I rotate them. They're getting pretty worn. Um, I mean, they're still fine for probably the rest of the year, but before winter, I want to get some new ones. If you don't have good tires, you don't have a good truck. So, uh, anyway, I've got this kind of put together so far, but that's kind of where I'm at now. Give you an update in a bit. Update. Probably should have did a little bit more research, but I don't even know if that's supposed to be like that, but that's how it's going to be. It, the freaking uh, clips or the things that hold it to the clamp, the clamps to clamp to the leaf spring ran into the brake line, so I had to kind of shenagle that. You can't get in there to work on anything. So if you're, you know, looking to do this, Make sure you set aside more than a couple hours like I did. Um, but anyways, otherwise I think I got one side on. Um, and then I've got to get the other side started. So hopefully it goes faster since I know what this side's like. Um, we'll see. Give you an update to the end. Okay, <clears throat> I'm back. I got it done, I think. I need to tune up the airline a little bit. But overall, I think it's it's there and it's going to serve its purpose. I don't apparently lost my gauge to uh, measure how many PSI is in there. So I don't know what is actually in there right now. Um, I have a little little air compressor that I has a gauge on it, but the battery's dead, so I can't take it out and actually measure it. It only tells me when it's airing it up, and that's super inaccurate. Um, but yeah, so here's the the bag. Um, I did both sides kind of different. The pa the driver's side was the hardest by far because of the gas tank. The passenger side went on super quick. I mean, probably 30 minutes and I had it on. The driver's side took me two hours plus probably. One, it was the first side I did. And two, the, the, the gas tank was in the way, which was a giant pain. But I assembled, put this, the airbag, the heat shield, and then this um, upper plate thing, I think they call it, on first. And then I set this section in here and then there's a little piece back here that goes on there's this giant bolt that goes through the frame that bolts to a section on the back I don't know yeah, this section right here you can't really see it but it goes up and curves back to the frame and ties in with that ginormous bolt and then you've got these two uh, supports here on the bottom so the passenger side worked out well. It was able to clear the brake line. You see that there. But the driver's side didn't really well. So I honestly, I might take it off now that I know what to do. And, uh, well, not take it off. I'll probably just loosen this giant bolt up up here. Like loosen it up. Loosen this up a little bit so it can slide. And then just slide it back. Because I think if I... I Initially, I tightened this first, the top down first, and that uh, when I did that, this bottom couldn't really move. So I think if I loosen it up, now that I did this side, and it works better, I think if I loosen it up, I can move it <laughs> away from the brake line. It's not touching, but just to give it a little bit of um, buffer area. So overall, it was quite a... Uh, Quite the process. It was a lot more involved than I expected. Um, I still got to put my tire back on, but it was a lot more involved than I expected. But overall, it seems like it's going to be a pretty legit kit. I hope I don't have any leaks. There's still air in there. I don't feel any air coming out of the um, air lines, but I guess I'll find out tomorrow morning if I have any in there. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put my tire back on and pull this 
bad dog back into the garage completely and I'm gonna be done for the night. Look at that thing just sitting there all in its glory. Um, I had meant to go into <clears throat> town tonight. I gotta go get some limestone in the morning, which is why I wanted to get this done. Um, and I had meant to go get cash in the morning for the limestone. It's about a hundred and I mean, anywhere from 150 to 160 bucks per load. Um, you know, that's anywhere from four to five thousand pounds. Just depends what the rock sizes are. So um, I'm gonna get some cash for that. Was not planning on this taking as long as it did so that it won't be going in there tonight. I gotta get home and inside and shower. It's 10 after 10 of my time and that's best my bedtime. Um, so anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I was hoping to make it a little bit more, what do I wanna say? A little bit more in, of a, uh, in depth video, I guess, but when I realized how big of a project it was and the time I had, I didn't have time to pull out my camera every step. So this is what it is. So apologize if you're not into that, but shoot me a comment if you have questions. Otherwise, I really do appreciate you guys watching this video and I'd like to bump up the subscribers to 200. I just hit 100, which is awesome. Um, really would like to bump it up to 200, then, then 500, and then 1,000, and then 2,000, and you know, just keep growing it. I want to be able to um, provide some good content, what people enjoy. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. I'm trying to get better every video. I know some are pretty bouncy here and there, um, but doing my best. Catch you guys later.